Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sanjay Mohutala, Chairman of the Board of Investment of Sri Lanka, will address you next on why you should be investing in Sri Lanka, Asia's next growth haven. Welcome, Mr. Mohutala. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We have over 1,000 potential investors who have signed up for this three-day event. Thank you for your time. Many of you have seen, experienced how mesmerizing Sri Lanka and its hospitality can be. But beyond this beauty, there's so much more. Please allow me to introduce to you the hidden gem of Asia. My presentation will focus on the strong fundamental Sri Lanka processes, its growth ambitions, doubling GDP, policy and investment orchestration to realize it, resulting investment opportunities for investors to make Sri Lanka Asia's next growth haven. Strategically located, strong economy with access to emerging and established markets. That's what Sri Lanka is. Post-war, Sri Lanka has grown rapidly, averaging a GDP growth of CAGR 5%, despite recent challenging years. Country, is at the inflection point with $4,000 per GDP per capita, around three times South Asia's average. With the right policy orchestration, this is when typically economies take off. The next wave of rapid growth is anticipated in South Asia, East Africa, placing Sri Lanka very strategically to leverage growth opportunities. In addition, with two world-class ports, Three international airports, Sri Lanka is the transshipment hub and is fast becoming the epicenter of South Asia. Sri Lanka is also able to trade with its South Asian neighbors without any hindrances, providing access to closely over 3, 3 billion consumers from one strategic location. It's a single powerhouse, best living environment in South Asia. Additionally, Sri Lanka is the place to work, live, and enjoy life. We have extremely educated, trainable, and capable workforce. Digital literacy is close to 50%. 30% computer literate. Highest youth literacy rate, almost at 100%. As you saw at the beginning of this presentation, we are an island of charm. We have something for everyone, whether it be business or leisure. We have been recognized frequently and rated number one as the most livable city and the highest quality of life in South Asia. Sri Lanka's decade of growth is offering multi-sector investment opportunities. Traditionally, we are known for our tea, rubber, coconut and apparel. But if you look at this chart, you'll see that Sri Lanka has much more to offer to a potential investor. As outlined in his manifesto, His Excellency the President, Gotabe Rajapaksha, we have put the foundations to double the GDP during the next decade. Taking advantage of strong fundamentals that the country had to offer and also the economic tailwinds. By creating a compelling investment climate, and specific investment opportunities. Sri Lanka offers a win-win for the investors as well as its nationals. Let me start from the top and explain what this means. In order to achieve the vision of doubling the GDP over the next 10 years, Sri Lanka has identified six catalytic sectors and key subsectors to attract investment to usher inclusive growth. Let me start with manufacturing. Today, BOI companies account for 85% of all industrial exports from Sri Lanka. While supporting existing industries to expand, we are also looking to orchestrate and help several manufacturing sectors to take root in the country to reach $1 billion export or import substitution by 2025. Let me give a few examples. Pharmaceutical manufacturing, upstream apparel, which I will speak in length later on. And electronics manufacturing, especially taking advantage of emerging technology platforms like graphite, which 
in turn can take advantage of high purity vein graphite that's available in Sri Lanka and graphene extraction technologies again available and patent in Sri Lanka. ICT, we are looking to achieve a $3 billion export revenue by 2025. Again, I will take you in detail later on. Tourism, the revised plan post COVID is to achieve close to $8 billion in terms of revenue, ushering in 4 million tourists, more than doubling our tourist market we had in 2019, creating lucrative investment opportunities in this sector. Agri and food processing. We are looking to add three to $5 billion additional export revenue through rubber products, agri and food processing, and export of fisheries. Sri Lanka already is known to be the, the global capital for solid tires. Top tire manufacturers have already taken root in Sri Lanka. Along with tire exports and vibrant rubber-based products, manufacturing accounts for close to $1 billion worth of exports today. With the recent expansions and the projects in the pipeline, the overall exports expect to reach $1.8 billion by 2023 well on the way to create a $2.5 billion export market by 2025. Given the recent policy thrust to embrace organic farming, the global food manufacturers have an unprecedented opportunity to take advantage of sourcing organic produce for food processing to cater to rising global wellness trends. With the vast coastlines and extensive exclusive economic zone, Sri Lanka can increase aquaculture and marine exports multifold, emulating countries like Indonesia, the Nordics, which have effectively harnessed its aquatic resources. Well, then comes to other services and infrastructure. Sri Lanka has been sought after a manufacturing destination with 1,200 foreign companies currently invested in Sri Lanka. With the completion of the port city and its legislation to support service-related sectors, to take root like trading, banking, insurance, maritime services, we would be an attractive destination, much like of Dubai, Qatar, Labuan, for companies looking to set up their headquarters or regional hubs. As the country doubles GDP, infrastructure like apartments, road networks, rapid transits would be required to cater to an upward mobile urban population creating unprecedented opportunity for infrastructure investors. Now let's look at the strategic enablers to keep the compelling low-cost advantage, create ease of doing business, and create a low-risk uh, business environment for the investors. As a government which is pro-development, it has taken many steps to improve country's competitiveness and future readiness. Many initiatives are underway to ensure current cost competitiveness is maintained, significantly improving the ease of doing business, and have already introduced a tax policy consistency, and above all, it's a stable government that is in place. In addition, the much-awaited Port City Law has created a premium investment destination to catalyze the thrust sectors I spoke to you about earlier. Doubling the GDP in 10 years, Sri Lanka becomes Asia's next growth haven. Hopefully with the investors capitalizing on the investment opportunity outlined and the government's focus on inclusive growth, Sri Lanka can achieve a sustained GDP growth of north of 7% and export and services income earnings of more than $30 billion by 2025. Building on the strong talent pool to facilitate and shift into a knowledge-based economy, government has set in motion educational reforms to align to future talent needs and also measures to increase the quality graduate output by three times. Sri Lanka will continue to maintain its liberal investment policies, allowing 100% foreign ownership and to re-expatriate earnings without any hidden taxes or constraints. Let me take you through a few select sectors that offer significant investment opportunities. Over the next three days, in-depth and detailed sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions will be held for investors covering all the sectors that I outlined. A dedicated farmer zone with the industry leading incentives for a $1 billion output by 2025. 
Sri Lanka government has taken measures to build a strong local pharma industry to cater to the country's needs and to build a new export vertical taking advantage of the skill talent skill talent pools existing farm operations as well as the geopolitical shifts we have all seen and experienced a state of the art 400 acre farmer zone is being built the join into the hambantota the port and the international airport with easy access to both sea and air logistics the environment and the other pre clearances allows any type of drug manufacturing to take place in the zone from apis to generics to oncology thereby reducing setup time significantly for any potential investor to support this strategic initiative the government's offering generous tax breaks up to 10 years and of customized incentive packages will be offered for larger investors sri lanka has a strong heritage in apparel and has been exporting since mid 1960s apparel sector employs nearly 400000 direct employment serving some of the world's most popular brand names sri lanka is the most ethical sourcing destination in terms of fair labor practices building on these strong fundamentals by expanding upstream capabilities we are looking to be the most environmentally friendly sourcing destination as well the opportunity exists for investors to set up factories to localize up to 1 billion dollars worth of raw material to increase supply chain resilience plus supply chain agility and cater the growing demands of the manufacturers and the buyers Sri Lanka is the fastest growing ICT hub in South Asia we are aiming for 3 billion exports doubling what we do today by 2025 dub the island of ingenuity Sri Lankan code powers multiple stock exchanges boardrooms banks team parks and many other critical entities Sri Lanka looks to grow ICT related exports by 2x with the investment into developing world class talent pools enabling infrastructure such as high speed internet even down to the rural communities developing five focus technology IT parks introducing new legislation to orchestrate and catalyze startup ecosystem and we have all already seen seen the benefits a global players like hcl who have set up recently in sri lanka are expanding rapidly to take advantage of the quality talent pool sri lanka offers recognizing the importance of this sector the government has introduced zero corporate taxes for ict companies tourism the best place to visit we are targeting an 8 billion dollars worth of revenue 4 million tourist arrivals post covid by 2025 whether you are a sun sea sand seeker all out the 2500 year of heritage or into wellness or looking for one of the best destinations for wildlife or looking for a melting pot of cuisines sri lanka offers something unique whatever your heart's desire this that makes us so sri lanka to take advantage of this growth there's investment opportunities in the hospitality industry especially in world class hotels medical tourism and wellness in building world class theme parks and the breakout session and the sector sessions will provide you with in depth look at these opportunities in the coming days well the growth is enabled by low cost of doing business in sri lanka the 2021 budget of the new government broadly outlined five year policy consistency with regards to tax structure giving much needed certainty for investors beyond attractive tax holidays that have been that have been provided to equalize or better incentives that's offered by competing countries as mentioned in the beginning sri lanka offers one of the lowest productivity adjusted labor cost across all segments further the labor force is far more loyal compared to competing destinations and salary inflation is one of the lowest in the region for investors bui provides tax free capital good importation 
reducing startup cost, and more importantly, providing lowest power cost in the region, according to the Jetro survey. All of this combined with labor costs, the location advantages, provides a compelling investor value proposition in Sri Lanka. We are here to create high ease of doing business. There is a concerted effort underway by the government to bring Sri Lanka to the top tier of ease of doing business. Since coming to the power last year, the government has taken many initiatives to improve ease of doing business. To name a few, legal reforms are being carried out, appointment of committees to look into deregularization, a commission for custom reforms, a cabinet subcommittee to support investments in place, and many more. Honorable Minister Nivad Cabral, State Minister of Money and Capital Markets and State Enterprise Reforms, has been entrusted to address issues pertaining to ease of doing business to bring Sri Lanka to the top tier by 2025. Operating in a stable and a low-risk business environment, Sri Lanka is ranked the most peaceful country in South Asia. With its progressive investor-friendly laws and further policy reforms that are underway, backed by strong democratic institution and investor protection guaranteed by constitution, provides a low-risk business environment to take advantage of all these attractive business opportunities. Colombo Port City, the gateway to South Asia. The new addition to the Colombo's central business district, the Colombo Port City, which is with its newly minted legislation, aims to be on par with Dubai, Qatar, Labuan, to facilitate service sectors and encourage businesses to set up regional headquarters to serve close to 3 billion consumers in the region. For the real estate investors, this offers significant opportunity to capitalize on the key infrastructure builds such as hospitals, international schools, entertainment districts, mixed developments, marina, convention centers, the list goes on. In summary, Sri Lanka offers exciting opportunity for investors. We are looking to double our GDP within this decade. Six key thrust sectors have been identified and the policy orchestrations underway. Investor-friendly business environmental is being created for you to take advantage of this opportunity presented by Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is home for 1,200 foreign companies as of today, whom have been in Sri Lanka for many years. Nearly 50% of capital formation that took place in 2020 by BOI companies came from existing investors expanding their footprint to take advantage of global opportunities. It tells you the conviction they have on Sri Lanka's opportunities and its competitiveness as a sourcing destination. Throughout the three-day conference, you will hear testimonials from investors across multiple industries in respective breakouts, outlining their experience in doing business in Sri Lanka. As the chairman of BOI, I invite all of you listening today to consider Sri Lanka as your next investment destination and look forward to placing your logo here. We will help make you most of this opportunity. As the Apex Investment Promotion Entity, we will help you to make the most of this opportunity and provide end-to-end -end facilitation to help you set up in the shortest possible time. Sri Lanka is the next growth haven. Take advantage. Thank you for your time.